So, hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A level maths videos and even free maths tutoring. So, this video is about parametric equations, uh, part of the C4 A level maths syllabus, of course. Anyway, um, what are parametric equations? Well, they look like this x equals 2t and y equals t squared. They don't have to be that, basically, but x just x and y both have to be dependent on t or a function of t, whatever you, that happens to be. Here are more parametric equations like x equals t minus 3 and y equals t squared. Oh, you got t squared again, doesn't have to be the case, you know. You can even have these kind of parametric equations, x equals cos t and y equals sine 2t. Yeah, so those are parametric equations for you. Let's try to draw a graph of a parametric equation. Well, since uh, everything depends on t, both x and y depend on t, you might as well list a value, uh, list values of t, yeah, and then find the corresponding values of x and y. And when you've done that, you can easily draw the graph of it. So, if uh, x equals, um, sorry, if t equals minus two, then x equals two times minus two, which is minus four. And at the same time, for that same value of t, y is going to equal minus 2 squared, which is 4. Then that gives you a coordinate pair. You know, minus 4, 4, where would that go? Minus 4, 4, there you go. And you can plot them like that and draw your graph. Now, if you've got a parametric equation, or a pair of parametric, e parametric equations, and you want to convert them into the normal kind of y is equal to a function of x kind of graph, you know, this is your usual kind of equation, okay, um, what do you do? Well, that's called converting into Cartesian form, by the way, yeah, what do you do? Well, the typical trick is, since I want y equals a function of x, that means I need to replace the t squared with a function of x. I need to replace the t's with x's. So, how do I do that? Use the typical substitution trick. I make t the subject, okay on this equation so t is equal to x plus 3 and now since t is a subject I can substitute for it yeah so instead of t squared I can say x plus 3 squared and my job's done you know y equals x plus 3 squared great um, now if I've got another parametric pair of parametric equations uh, but this time the basically trigonometric functions of t okay I can't just replace the t so in these ones you try to replace the t but in these ones okay you again you're trying to make y equals something a function of x so that means you need to replace the t but not just that I'm going to replace the whole function to do with t okay so I'm going to try to replace this not straight away into x's what I'm going to do I'm going to try to convert this in terms of cos t because when I made this all in terms of cos t one way or the other which is basically this line here okay so this is basically equal to this and you can see lots of cos t's as soon as I've got that situation I can replace all the cos t's with x's because since x equals cos t I can replace that cos squared t with an x squared I can replace that cos t with an x you know etc etc so that's the plan so how are we going to do it um, I've sort of shown you, haven't I? But still, let's go for it. So sine 2t can be converted into 2 sine t cos t uh, using this stuff here. In the formula book you're told, uh, which part is it? The C3 part of the formula book. You're told all of this, yeah? Now if I replace a and b with x, okay, a, so that becomes x plus x, which is basically 2x, okay, sine 2x basically equals 2 sine x cos x. I've done it very quickly this is something you need to consider in your own time in fact I would say you should know this stuff by now because you sh this is C3 stuff yeah and you're watching a C4 video anyway uh, so that basically gets you to that stage but I like this but I don't like the sine t I said I want everything in terms of cos t so I have to replace the sine t with something to do with cos t so I'm going to use this sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 I could write a uh, uh, three lines. I should really write three lines, but I just feel lazy sometimes and I can't be bothered. So sine, and you won't 
lose marks really for that. Anyway, so sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, and rearranging just gives you sine x equals root of 1 minus cos squared, cos squared x. Okay, so that's when I have it in terms of x, but I could obviously change x's for t's, right? Anyway, so using that, basically I can replace um, sine t with what, root of 1 minus cos squared t, and basically I have everything in terms of cos, like I said earlier on, and I can replace all the causes with x's, and that's my job done. So basically the focus is on replacing this with x's, but I can't do that immediately, I need to convert it, in so I need to replace it with cos t's, which becomes x later on. Okay, so that's the trick, okay, for trigonometric ones. With uh, other ones, it's straightforward, just straight away try to make t the subject so you can substitute for it for t squared whatever or whatever that happened to be over there in terms of t. Now um, let's do a bit of uh, integration. So obviously when we uh, try to find the area under the graph we integrate right but right now I've got but the definition of my graph or the equation of my graph is in parametric form so how do you integrate uh, when you've got equations in terms of para in parametric form. So what you do basically is basically convert everything in terms of t. I'm going to convert the limits in terms of t, I'm going to convert the y in terms of t, even the dx in terms of t. Now it should be news to you, if you've uh, watched the uh, what's it called, the integration video, you would have seen something called integration by substitution. This is, this is just the same thing, we're substituting for everything in terms of t. Okay, so how do you replace the dx in terms of t? Well, you can convert, you can say dx is the same as dx by dt by dt. You can imagine it cancelling out, right? Okay, so that is the same as that, right? And uh, what else do we have? We can convert uh, the 3, which basically means x equals 3. Yeah, this is on your x and y axes. Okay, so if x equals 3, where is our, where our parameter? Oh, there it is. x equals t minus 3, that means t equals x plus 3. So if x equals 3, t equals 3 plus 3. Yeah, which is 6, and add 3 to that one gives you the t equivalent, yeah? And um, so I've convert, I've swapped the, what's it called, the, the limits in terms of t, or substituted in terms of t, and I've done that. I've yet to convert the y in terms of t, y is equal to t squared, so I've done that now. Um, dx by dt is just 1, because if you look at it, x equals t minus 3, the di so the differential of that is just 1, so that converts to 1, and the dt stays there because you need to uh, integrate by dt. So basically you end up just integrating t squared, which is this, t cubed, one third t cubed between limits 6 and 4, which is equal to 152 over 3. Very straightforward. Okay, so that's the trick. Replace everything in terms of t. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Oh, if we're going to find the equation of a tangent this time, okay, so we're not going to integration, we just come back and we're looking at differentiation instead now, okay, because when you want to find the equation of a tangent at a certain point on a graph, you need to differentiate that the equation of that graph, right? Because a tangent is uh, basically the uh, the differential basically finds the gradient, doesn't it? So that's what you need. So, uh, how do we do that? Um, here's the little trick. dy by dx is what we want, yeah? Um, is simply equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. And those are very easy to get. dx by dt, very simple, is 2t, you can see that. And dy by dt is simply 3t squared. So dy by dt divided by dx by dt is going to be 3t squared divided by 2t, which it says here. And if you cancel it out a little bit, that squared cancels out with a t, so you simply get 3 over t, 3t over 2. Now, as usual, when you try to find the equation of a tangent, it's not anywhere you feel like on a graph, it's at a certain point, because obviously on a curvy graph, the 
the gradient of the tangent is constantly changing. So we want to know the equation of the tangent at t equals 2. So since this is your dy by dx, when you substitute t equals 2, you get 3 times, remember that's cancelled and that's cancelled, so you've only got 3t over 2. So substituting t equals 2 gives you basically 6 over 2, which is basically 3. Okay, so the gradient is 3, um, which I didn't really write down, I just wrote times by 2 there, didn't I? Anyway, um, and then I used uh, to find the equation of a straight line. What do you do? One of the ways you can do it is do y minus y1 equals the gradient times x minus x1. Okay, so what is your, what basically where y1 and x1 are a coordinate on the line. Okay, so what is a coordinate on the line? Well, when t equals 2, uh, x equals uh, 2 squared and y equals 2 cubed, which I've written there basically. So that is the y part of the coordinate of a coordinate on the line and that's the x part of the same coordinate on that line. Uh, it's not complicated, is it? I'm just using the standard y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 form of equation of a straight line, which is basically the equation of your tangent.